You're an interesting human. You know what was interesting? Oh, I, I, I'm not, I'm not even gonna get on bad timing with you. I'm not even gonna get on bad timing with you. I was gonna talk about how, how when me and your auntie, I ain't gonna do that. Oh, your grandma, ma. But we ain't even gonna do that, gang. We ain't even gonna do that. Not my auntie. Yeah, then shut the fuck up. Then shut the fuck up. Hey, chat. Let's get cozy, chat. The Chris Tyson situation could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast. Yo! Brand. However, it may also provide some. I'm not gonna lie, I've been seeing all type of racist comments from this Chris nigga. What's happening? <laughs> Why y'all digging up his tweets? I see talk about some some slave tweets, some black tweets, some some gay tweets, all type of what the hell? What the hell was that? There's a lot of phobic tweets, all type of shit. Evan, Evan, Avon, Avon, thank you for the 10 gifts, gang. Appreciate you, lover. Some unique benefits. So let's begin by going over the drama before explaining exactly how this will impact the Mr. Beast channel. In mid-2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. In the early days, he represented the quintessential Southern gun and truck loving dude. Really? Yet beginning in March 2022, Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits, making tweets such as, I finally got my nails done at a nail tech. A Damn, how do you do like a 180, like, like... If anything, I'll never expect like a camo wearing, truck driver driving, shotgun shooting, beaver hunting, squirrel catching, like, you know what I'm saying? To be like, you, you know? So do you think, do you think he was hiding it from himself the whole time and he went to the extreme so nobody would catch it all? Or like, it's something just changed or something? Additionally, Chris would highlight that his facial appearance- <laughs> My nigga said cousin fucking- <laughs> had changed significantly since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post reading, okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I quote, look nothing like my passport pic, so much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Damn. Prompting replies such as, you went from man to boy. Chris responded by stating, nah, to be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better, yet his Twitter photos kept insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine, with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just- Grandmother. Just gonna ignore Chris's nails. Chris okay, okay, okay. I'm not trying to be, not for anything, right? Nothing to do with him being whatever, like all that, right? These nails is ass. Like, these nails is just dog shit. I don't care if you're a man, woman, trans. These nails is just shit. Like, I'm sorry. This, this shit is terrible. Insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For Not example, good. on the 6th- no, six... like some old lady nails, bro. Like, no, bro. Of January 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just got to ignore Chris's nails. Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. <laughs> the response to the video then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating, How did Chris go from this to this? While others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. Yeah, yeah. Now, this was pretty ridiculous. Who the hell is... Wait, Carl, Carl Jacobs? That's a Minecraft person? You know about Carl Jacobs? Carl Jacobs is gay? I don't know. No? Now, what the fuck is y'all talking about? Why would Carl turn a nigga gay? This nigga's Carl? I mean, I don't, it don't matter if he's gay, but why would he turn him gay? Well, we're gonna explain. Like, how would he? I don't know. As Carl isn't even that feminine, and Chris had come out as bisexual years before he and Carl had even met. The oh. true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization. Oh, Chris. Oh, he's been like, you know what I'm saying? 
Christian instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2022, Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Fans also noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the very first post in which he'd painted his nails. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 2023, reading, For a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long nails. As the critic- I be rocking the man buns sometimes, nigga. I be, you know what I'm saying? I haven't in a minute, but when I got the ponytail and shit. What you talking about? And I'll fuck your mama. I ain't got, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't on that other, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't come for the man buns, nigga. This is that's, just, that's just some nice hair shit continue to pile, Chris announced that he'd be taking a break from social media. And while there was a possibility that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self, he'd rather do the opposite and double down on his feminine image, showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this, before making the announcement that he'd been doing HRT for approximately two months, which according to a quick Google search is the medical process for changing genders. Chris would expand on the- So HRT. So what did he took take? He did like a low dose of HRT so his body would stop naturally producing testosterone and it produces a lower amount of HRT that a male would need, right? That's what he probably did. Oh, hormone, hormone, hormone. So it could be any fucking hormone, estrogen. <laughs> Do estrogen. I thought I thought he said, uh, I was thinking about TRT, my fault, gang. I thought about TRT, my fault, gang. He started thinking estrogen pills and shit this by stating okay. informed consent hrt saved my and many others lives okay. the hurdles gnc people have to jump through to get life-saving gender affirming healthcare in a first world country is wild to me srt okay yo shut the fuck up yeah. just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies which received a positive response from both carl and mr beast who wrote got you i did one more heart than carl because i'm a better friend while his co-workers expressed positivity others weren't so welcoming there goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. So do you think he... Ah, oh, that's tough. Do you think he... I don't know. Good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. Weak man times. Chris responded to this comment by stating, This is just more dog whistling that somehow trans and GNC folks aren't safe around... What's G trans and GNC folks? What's GNC folks? That's like the store? GNC folks? Gay, what's GNC? What's GNC? Gender neutral. What's the C? Gender, gender non-conforming. Oh, okay. Kids. Talk. This is just more dog wasn't that somehow trans and gender non-conforming folks aren't safe around kids. Oh, okay. Tucker begs for me to come back when I leave for like two days to film. He's so loved and happy. Kids are born with hate. It's all about people like you and my child will know how to love. Tucker begs for me to come back when I leave for like two days to film. He is so loved and happy. Kids aren't born with hate. It's taught by people like you and my child will only know love. I know I'm going to be a great parent and so Damn. is every other person who puts the love of their child before okay, everything. That, I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. In a way, this was for Tucker. Chris's response received some positivity such as, I'm convinced you're an amazing father. Tucker is lucky to have you and also like lucky to have all of those who surround and support you in his life, as well as I adore that, I'm glad you made that decision. It's so much easier to be a parental figure when you're not struggling with dysphoria, yet he'd also receive an equal amount of backlash. You ripped apart your family and took a father figure away from your son just so you could paint your nails and act zesty. Pathetic. He will get torn apart at school, won't want to have friends around his house, a life full of difference and being alone. Must have missed the point in that tweet. How's this for him when you're depriving him of a father figure, although Chris wasn't altered by these comments, as he'd once again reiterate his certainty in a new post reading, it's never too late to start being yourself, which received praise from Mr. Beast as well as Nolan and Carl. However, these comments also added extra fuel to the fire. In a few years, look back at this thread and remember they were never your friends. Only yes men cowards. Hope you come out of this safe. Mr. Beast responded to this with a simple opinion irrelevant ratio, to which the original commenter 
Hunter would state, I have 30 followers, so go ahead and ratio me. I'll still rest easy knowing that I'm not a coward who idly sits by watching my friend ruin his own life. In some ways, it was nice to see the boys standing up for Chris on Twitter. However, the situation has already begun to change the dynamic within the video. Oh, nah. And it's not even a dislike bar no more. There's not even a dislike bar no more, nigga. <laughs> Nigga's clicking that shit. For example, in a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Boxes, Chris would once again dress in quite a feminine way. And while everybody participated as usual, the energy and vibe didn't feel nearly as smooth as it normally does. It felt as though there was an unaddressed elephant in the room, and therefore everybody was in their head, as opposed to being in the present moment enjoying each other's company. Maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages, but Chris did make these bizarre bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable. Oh my god, Jimmy, look, they drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like you. Oh, yes. Oh my god, it's Whoa. Jimmy. How did fan art? This so is hard. what we were looking for. <laughs> be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Mr. Beast. That is my tagline. Becoming even weirder when each member started to pay each other compliments. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude, nice shirt. Hey, nice oh. shirt. Thanks, dude, nice shirt. Thanks, nice shirt. Nice. Shoes. <laughs> um, I don't know if they're, I don't know if it's awkward because of all the social media shit. Or, and he doesn't know, like, he knows he has a microphone glass on him right now, or if it's awkward because, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? For the most part, the live stream was devoid of awkward moments. However, it would act as fodder for another 100 million views worth of drama and criticism. Chris likely believes that people will slowly adapt to his new appearance over time, but is this really going to happen? Well, maybe. It's difficult to say as the situation is fairly unique, especially when considering Chris's reputation and influence. However, if Chris continues to transition, would it be unreasonable to say that he could jeopardize some of the personality traits which made him a success? member in the first place. Perhaps the opposite will happen and he'll instead pick up new personality traits that better resonate with the current Mr. Beast audience. This was put forward in many comments. It could because you know your hormones, your hormones really change like, like a lot of shit about how you act throughout the day, your personality and all that shit, bro. Like whether you're happier or more, have more energy, shit like that. So it could like, like literally energy wise could be a bit, it can make it better or it could make it fucking worse. And supportive of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions. Of Stop fence sitting. What do you want me to say? What the fuck you want me to say? What the fuck you want me to say? You already know what the type of nigga I am. I don't give a fuck. What the? I, I don't watch Mr. Beast video. I don't give a fuck about what fucking niggas do. What the fuck? What they, you know what I'm saying? Shit don't affect me, nigga. Kids who look up to him. Do although this do. doesn't necessarily. I don't got it. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't understand it fully. You know? I'm not beyond it. I don't understand it fully. Like <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> That's the, I don't know what's going on in their brains and shit. I don't know. That's the thing. Of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of quick. Uh, what do you want me to tell you, bro? Want me to talk like I know, like I'm God, and know that this nigga is just doing some bullshit? Like I'm not God, nigga. I don't know what he's going through, what his brain is feeling, what is going on, what he, what he, like I don't. Kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add I know me though. to the video. I know me. Mr. Beast has likely cultivated a massive LGBT audience, all of whom are already watching anyway. And if we've learned anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over the top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended. Now, my only thing is that people be using as an argument, right? People be using as an argument because we just haven't seen this yet. We just haven't because it's too early and shit. Do, do you think there's a difference? Do you think a child being raised in like a family, what is like, you know, whatever the fuck you want to call it, are they, is it, is it, is it going to be like different? Is it going to affect them? And in a few years, we're probably going to see like the outcomes of that maybe and shit, you know, that's going to be something to like, you know, keep an eye on and shit. And if there, there is, and if there's no negatives, like the child comes out perfectly fine civilian and human i mean in, in society and shit then what the fuck is there to be upset about bro but if you notice if you notice a change in, in kids and shit and how they're being like then it's like okay we gotta have a conversation we sing it right now 
affected it and is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. On top of this, it can be uncomfortable and unrelatable for the silent majority, although as we have seen, a situation like Chris's does have the potential to create an otherworldly amount of discussion. I want to see that. I want to I want to I want to see a conversation with like trans parents and explain how they raise their kid and shit. I just want to see if it's different. I literally want to see. I want to see if it's different and shit. Which could be I do feel like knowing like masculinity and shit if you're a boy and shit is important having having that figure is important in a way seen as a benefit for the mr beast brand drama is because like even though my dad you know what i'm saying went and got milk i still have my uncles and shit i still had some homies fathers and shit to look at and shit i still have uncles you know what i'm saying to know what the fuck to do woke up and my roommate was shit still had my grandpa my when he was alive and Should shit I beat his ass for example later thoughts chat You know, I do feel like seeing both the mother figure and the father figure is important, though. A, a masculine and a feminine uh, figure in your life that, is important. That would be an easy way to up so you're you're right. Right. Family, The problem is, this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to attract, as he's forced to agree with Chris's position, as he has no way of manipulating the situation without being painted as the bad guy. It's a lose lose situation for Mr. Beast. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris, cancelled. If he don't, his channel will die for real. An inescapable situation. Yo, that nigga is in a situation. Yo, no, literally, 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 literally in an inescapable situation. Literally. He's gonna get hate. No matter what Mr. Beast does, he's gonna get hate. He's gonna get hate. And the thing is, this is something that he didn't even bring upon himself. It's just somebody in his group, in his friend circle, that decided they want to do something with their life. And now Mr. Beast has to see, see and take all the fucking backlash. While he's just doing the best content on fucking YouTube. is a pretty good way of describing the drama, which is also why it deserves the harsh label of being a nightmare. Jimmy has no option but to publicly express acceptance of Chris's transition, as silence or even worse disapproval would come with obvious severe repercussions. However, in accepting Chris's transition, Jimmy implies that this will be the new normal within the content, thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings. And Resident Evil tonight or we just throwing that one in the dumpster like Hogwarts? That's just not going Talk near Hogwarts. That should not go. They near rather Hogwarts. simply click on fewer Mr. Beast videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no option but to accept this fate, as removing Chris from the videos in any kind of way could create an even more severe media firestorm. The yes, only clean would. solution, should things go south, might be for Chris to resign himself, and even then, rumors and bad press will be unavoidable. Whether it be our yeah, that is like his only safe option. If shit getting too hectic, he can't handle all the attention. Like yo, Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of this, you know? That is the safest option if shit goes left. Arrogance or ignorance, Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his current level of success that by Jake avoiding Lucky? this oh, exact that's, that's, type that's of Jake. drama.